Hello everybody. Just doing a rubber mold here on my shirt. Um, for anybody who has done these before, um, it's all trial and error. So don't be afraid to give it a shot or to give it a go. The first couple of coats, I didn't put no thickening in because you want it to go into all the little grooves. But, um, and I suppose the Buddha head had loads of little, you know, her crown, as we say. And you, as soon as you have a couple of coats with the latex on without the thickener, you can, you can literally just put the thickener in after say six coats of just latex because that kind of the latex is thinner and it goes into every and plus it's more elasticated it really will cover every i suppose part so i'm going to just turn and i have this on a kitchen stool by the way which is handy so i can turn it maneuver it around so i'm just putting this on with a paintbrush but you know what everyone has to their own can do their own thing because as you know in this heat as well in the summertime the rubber can actually it gets so as you can see I'm just kind of coating it there and I'm I suppose if I have any left in in, in here after a while after you know, I've coated everything I will put a little more thickener around the crown where I think it's going to take more and of course people ask me how am I going to, this is my first time to do um, a rubber mould, my father used to make them, chest sets and with resin and things like that so this and he taught me how to do the rubber moulds for them so I watched and learned and now I'm just giving it a go so don't be afraid to give it a go. Um, yeah the brush um sometimes the brush can actually um i'm not expecting this to be perfect if it comes out of the mole i'm hoping it will just be half decent <laughs> and i'm hoping uh that i did a good enough job if the i've actually this actual um head is a garden solar light that i had that it was a bit grubby it was it, that was resin as well it was it was um it was a, just another plastic resin, just really lightweight, and the bulb and all it had gone in it, so I thought, ah, sure, we'll give it a go. Now I've had, I think this must be about, um, doo -doo -doo -doo, I suppose this must be about my seventh coat of rubber. First four, as I said, were just plain latex without the thickener. And I guess people say to me, you know, have you got not in my, my my next attempt probably would be to do um, fiberglass resin maybe or put um I kind of put a little bit more uh, rubber around the ear when I think that the delicate parts that you think they might snap in the cement. I'm actually going to do concrete try concrete with these or plaster pairs for the first one to see if they do well as you can see my ratio for this I have a mark down here was it's 530 mils of which is four ounces which is I worked it out just to be a half jar which is a lovely four ounces of latex to one cap full of thickener so i suppose i'm not very good at maths but i guess it's just um i'm saying ounces because i bake a lot <laughs> so really it's just 30 mils we go so it's five 30 mils so it's five little capfuls of 30 mils of latex and one thickener 
into the latex and thick and when you mix it around it starts thickening really quickly depending on the temperature and depending if you're doing it in summertime like I'm doing this in my garden shed and it's pretty warm out today so but I have I have done it in the winter time and it's doesn't dry as fast but we'll see I hope to do as I said some plaster paris and some concrete and for my garden and let's just see and if the base if you can see the base here it does and if the head is too heavy and the base snaps off do you know what I don't mind I'm gonna I'll probably drill two steel rods in <clears throat> so I can put it into the garden so if you like this video give it a thumbs up my name is Francis and I hope you enjoy it bye